Yep. That thing has been moved down three. We're going to label that point just like we did before. This is kind of review. negative three and it's a gravel off like you said and it opens everybody go to that yep all right now what about B it is also a parabola right a squaring function but it is positioned right three so it looks like that everybody remembering your rules you can't forget those oh my goodness I can't read the number on the end of that, so let's just say it is x plus 1 squared, uh, let's just say minus 2. I don't know what it's supposed to be, let's make it minus 2. Is this also a parabola? Yes. And where is this one sitting? At negative 1, negative 2. Remember when we write our ordered pair, it's always x comma y. So left one, down two. That's easy, right? Hopefully everybody's good with that. All right, let's look at the next set. What in the world is this going to look like? Stop and 
look at what the original was. This was the original. Now I'm going to flip that this way. So instead of following along here and going up like that, isn't this one going to follow along here and go up like that? So it's still going through that point. The asymptote is still the same. But now, it looks like that. Imagine that you had a paintbrush and you painted this and then folded your paper. Wouldn't that guy come over here like this? And that guy would come up like that? sideways. Okay. All right. What about the next one? What shape am I going to have in D? A parabola. It has been moved one unit to the left and it's going to be upside down. Negatives outside, out in front, negatives out in front, turn you upside down. What is this negative going to do in problem E? Look where it is. Is it out in front? No. It's inside. And when it's inside, it's a sideways. Okay. So this is a logarithm. We don't graph logarithms very often. So myself what's on my note card, which is an asymptote at zero, an intercept of one, and doing that. Now, what's that going to look like when I fold it this way? That point's going to be over here at negative one, zero. Would you agree? Asymptote's still going to be here. And I'm going to take this and flip it this way. So would you agree it's going to look like this? There I go. Instead of going up and out to the right, I'm going to go up and out to the
scrap paper. This is a, this is the starting picture. If this were a BFF, which is not making this, this would be the one on your note card. Okay, this is your note card. Now, we are at the graph, this. On your graph paper, you're going to graph the negative of this. Okay? So, where is the negative? Out in front. And what, is, what happens when it's out in front? We draw it upside down. So, what does that mean? Well, that means that this triangle right here, this list guy right here, won't be down anymore, now he will be up. Now, he's up the same amount, so we've got this point at negative three, and instead of going down two, we are going to go up two. And there's our triangle, this guy right here. So this was the point, negative one, negative two. When I go upside down, it becomes the point negative one positive two. Now, what about this little triangle right here? He's now going to go down. Point the interruption for a few quick announcements and updates. There's still about 10 minutes left in this period. But at this time, student council, powder puff participants, and cheerleaders are dismissed down to lunch in order to help set up and get a head start on lunch. When class is over, please leave all belongings in your D period. But please note, they do anything, water bottles, phones, <laughs> Change of clothes if needed with you. Those students will be readmitted. Those students will be readmitted in the building. Once we dismiss the lunch of the assembly. So please leave all the lunch in your D period. Except for water bottles, phones, or any change of clothes needed. This period will end at 12 10. So if you can't get back in, make sure you got what you need. Negative now. 
inside. It's not out in front, it's inside. And what did we say happened when you had a negative inside? It's a sideways flip. So when you, as you're looking at your points, and, and pick something to start with, I'll, I'll pick this triangle again, this triangle right here. When I built this triangle, I'm gonna go ahead and start there at the origin. But I went left one and down two. Well, if I'm, if I'm flipping it sideways, I'm not gonna go left one and down two, I'm gonna go right one and down two. And instead of being at negative three zero, I'm now gonna be at positive three zero. So does that make sense to everybody? That that has been put over here now? Now I'm gonna do the same thing with this triangle. To get this triangle, I went right one and up one. Well, what am I gonna do now? Left one and up one. Why am I doing that? Because I'm flipping this way, and what was right becomes left, and left becomes right. There's that guy. He's down. All right, now pick up where you left off. What do you do to get this big triangle? You go right one and up two. So now we're gonna go left one and up two and build that triangle. And finally we got this one. Pick up where we left off. We went right one and down one. So now I'll go left one and down one. And there we go. You have flipped your picture sideways. Now, I'm doing it the way it makes sense to me. I do it like a piece at a time. You can do it however you want, as long as you end up with that. That's the, the picture we need to end up with. So that 
doesn't take him all the way down to the axis. Because remember, we're up to? No, 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 no. You can move that dash line into that line. No, you can move that line into that Okay? Alright, so we'll pick up here next time. Um, you guys heard the instructions, right? So if you have a water bottle, if you brought your lunch,